The person that I would like to mention this morning, just to talk about the fabric of our nation, is our Queen Elizabeth. And in June 1953, Queen Elizabeth took the throne and uh, she gave an undertaking which is a requirement of all monarchs since 1688 uh, when an Act of Parliament was passed to determine what the uh, monarch would say at the time of their coronation all of the kings and queens of England have been making a commitment and a coronation oath it's called and uh, in June 1953 when uh, Her Majesty committed to being our Queen she made an oath which has several parts to it and the Archbishop asks her will you solemnly promise to swear to govern the peoples of the United Kingdom of Great Britain Northern Ireland Canada Australia and so on and so on and so on and uh, according to their respective laws and customs, and she solemnly promises, I will. And then the Queen makes this declaration. The Archbishop asks her, Will you, to the utmost of your power, maintain the laws of God and the true profession of the Gospel? Will you, to the utmost of your power, maintain in the United Kingdom the, the Protestant Reformed religion established by law, Will you maintain and preserve inviolably the settlement of the Church of England and the doctrine, worship, discipline and government thereof, as by law established in England? And will you preserve unto the bishops and clergy of England and to the churches there committed, there committed to their charge all such rights and privileges as by law do or shall appertain to them or any of them? To which... The Queen responds, all this I promise to do. It's an interesting thing uh, that the Queen should promise uh, that she and her government will uphold the laws of God. As they say in the classics, God save the Queen and uh, help her in her task of preserving God's law throughout all the realm. Sorry.